In this video, we are going to learn how to install a bit tray. In order to do this, you need five items. You need the PCM, the bit tray, a 19 pin cable, an external 24 volt power supply, and a small connecting wire. The first step is to connect the 19 pin cable into the bit tray. Now that the cable is connected to the bit tray, the next step is to connect the cable to the PCM using these small wires. The first step is to plug in the yellow and brown wire into this first port. Next, it, the pink and the gray wire. And that goes in the third port from the left, the 2-I-1. Next is the red and the blue wire. that goes in the 2-I-2. Next is the white and the green. and so on down the line. Now you will connect the blue wire to the positive 24 volt slot. All right, now you have this wire that is just metallic wire. You're going to wrap the end around this screw here. And this tan wire is a spare that you can just leave hanging over the side. The next step will be to plug in the 24 volt power supply. In order to do this, you will take the positive end and connect it to the positive 24 volt power supply uh, port along with the blue wire. And then take the negative end and connect it to the second com in port, the one that is empty. Now you will take your connector wire and connect the negative 24 volt port to the first COM in port. First, you will change the family settings to QX series. Then, you will go to Setup, PCM General Setup, and select the controller ID. Next, you will go to the IO Settings tab and assign the inputs as configuration 1 through 8, 
for inputs 1 through 8. You will then assign the outputs as configuration 1 through 8 also. Once this is completed, you will go back to setup and then tool setup and select the location ID of the tool and the configuration that you want to program to a certain bit. To do this, you will go to the socket selection and choose whatever number socket you want for that configuration.